Welcome to the commemorative video of the Abbotsford News 90th anniversary. Back in 1922, we were already at the forefront of technology with a full color poster cover on the very first edition, later named the Abbotsford Sumas and Matsqui News. Over the last nine decades, this newspaper has always been extremely important to readers in the city of Abbotsford and we have over the years ensured that with our print publications we have delivered nothing but quality content and quality coverage of local happenings, local events and breaking news. The news has a very loyal readership franchise in the city providing the best reach to local and national advertisers. The team has been recognized throughout North America 75 times in the last three years for high standards of journalism and marketing excellence. During the last few years, the media world has changed dramatically and we at the Abbotsford News have endeavoured always to be on the forefront of technology in the developing multimedia sector. Our website, abbeynews.com, commands a very significant audience. In fact, it's the leading website in British Columbia throughout the black press newspaper chain. This site will receive more than 3 million page views throughout 2012. Abbeynews.com is the gateway to multimedia from full web content and breaking news to social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. Our continued objective is to ensure we reach our entire reader franchise via print, web or social media and provide breaking news as it happens. With social media, it has given us the opportunity to connect with our readers in a very different way. Tonight, as we gather, a photograph has been taken, a story has been written, posted on the web and throughout social media. All this and the event is not even over. At the end of this year, we will be celebrating the 90th anniversary at the News and throughout this year, we have engaged in a number of anniversary celebrations. News is a huge part of our world in policing. We rely on it extensively for the type of coverage that it provides uh, to us to keep us informed about the community, but also in terms of getting our message out uh, to the community about important policing matters. Well, I've lived in many communities in Canada and the United States, uh, large and small, and I think that the news is probably one of the finest community newspapers that I've ever enjoyed reading. So the news has become a primary source of uh, information about events and people, activities, possibilities and challenges uh, that my city faces. So it's one of the first things uh, that I read as soon as it arrives uh, at my doorstep. Past years. Well, as a politician, it's a really good way to find out what people think, are thinking, what they want, what's important to them, whether I'm on the right track or not. For me, it's really, it really is a people's um, paper. I mean, it's a good business tool, but I think people forget about the other side. It's really good. It's, a, it's really the people's voice. I have to say this, kudos to the Abbotsford News, and I know this is an old fight that we won years ago with SE2. I know that if it wasn't for the Abbotsford News, getting the word out, reporting on it constantly, there's no way we would have gotten thousands of people involved and we would have won that fight. So they deserve a lot of credit for us successfully stopping a huge polluting power plant. Well, the news has been a major part of our, um, our advertising and marketing strategy. They've been so supportive, major sponsor. Uh, since the inception of the REACH when we opened in September of 2008 and we couldn't have done it without them. Just by the amount of publicity, uh, coverage of our programs that we've been doing, 
and the genuine interest that they had in us as part of the community. Uh, an effective tool for the Chamber of Commerce to get their message out uh, as we address uh, local issues and uh, looking to get our position uh, carried to, uh, to the, the people in Abbotsford. We hosted an open house and spent the afternoon with some 2,000 readers, many of whom enjoyed the experience of seeing a live newspaper being designed and printed right in front of their very own eyes. A live news feed to abbeynews.com with the interviews during the tours of the facility was conducted during the day. Campus of Care, Abbotsford, received donations from this event. Just two weeks ago, we staged the first ever drive-in movie at the News in partnership with Rotary. Besides having some fun, the event impacted 2,500 children overseas with vaccinations against polio. As every year, readers have been accustomed to the successful contest generated by news staff. Most recently, and culminating tonight, will be a presentation for the Harley-Davidson giveaway courtesy of our friends at both Mountain View Harley-Davidson, Chilliwack, and the Abbotsford International Air Show. The second contest, partnered with Fraserway RV Abbotsford, will see us giving away a $10,000 tent trailer and three RV family getaways in the fall. I would personally like to give my thanks to my incredible team here in Abbotsford, along with our national marketing team in Surrey. In addition, it would be remiss of me not to thank the senior executives here tonight for their vision, passion and leadership of Black Press. And finally, a special thank you to the hundreds of carriers that deliver British Columbia's number one newspaper every week. In closing, I would like to thank on behalf of everyone at the Abbotsford News, you, our readers, and advertisers for your continued support. Thank you.